everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you are well. I am wonderful. I'm great. Recorded a Power Cap podcast yesterday. I think it went quite smashing. Smashing. Speaking of smashing, I'm going to talk about Gene Taylor, Kansas State's AD, who has been absolutely amazing. And we're going to chronicle why he's been amazing and why I'm bringing that up right now. Hey, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please do so. Hit the thumbs up. Leave those comments. We lo I love them. I just love them. Even if they have nothing to do, just say hi, Fitz. It's so lovely. Uh, and remember, we're sponsored by Melrig Golf Clothing. New stuff out. Amazing. Check out the ad at the end. Uh, make sure you get your discount with the Life of Fitz code. On we go. Uh, Gene Taylor was hired seven years ago. Seven years ago, Gene Taylor was hired. I remember when he was brought in, I was kind of like, okay, this guy's a deputy AD at Iowa. He was at North Dakota State. Let's see what he's about. And I liked him. Immediately, I liked him. He's just a very likable guy. And and as a fan, you got to get to see the, the business Gene. He, you know, when he kicks his legs up, uh, he is quite the guy. He's really an amazing person and he's amazing at his job. He has continued K-State's fiscal responsibility with its athletic department and even ramped it up, cutting the department off from any external funding by the state, by the students, or by the university. It's all done with revenues created by the athletic department and by fundraising. Doing it the right way, doing it the fiscally responsible way, and keeping them under budget on a regular basis. It's absolutely incredible what he's accomplished. He's built buildings. He's built beautiful buildings, the volleyball center, uh, the shamrock zone, a new football indoor facility. He's done so much picking up on that building projects that were he inherited. I know that, uh, but he has kept those on budget and also didn't take the department into debt for any of it. It's all done with fundraising and also their revenues. Incredible what he's done at K-State. But mostly what he's done is he stabilized an athletic department that was in a great deal of turmoil before he came in. There was a, a lot of hostility and uncomfortableness in that department, and he solved it. You know, they said he was going to be a coach's AD, and that always worries me that he's going to be permissive. And he hasn't been. He runs a tight ship. He runs a really... Uh, lean operation and people know they got to get their stuff done and coaches are held responsible. But he's also hired great coaches. Remember how upset people were that he hired his buddy from North Dakota State, Chris Kleiman? It was brilliant. Remember how all of us wanted Brad Underwood and he's a good friend of mine, but when that fell through, he moved so decisively on to Jerome Tang. And I tell you what, those two hires put together are incredible, but he's done it in volleyball. He's done it in other sports. He's absolutely amazing to watch because he just does things the right way. He has a contract that runs through 2030. Gene's in his mid-60s. I don't know if he'll see the end of that contract, but for K-State's uh, best, I hope he does because when K-State athletics are in Gene's hands, good things have been happening. Thank you, Gene, for all you've done. You're a good man. You're a good AD. And uh, you're a good guy. Uh, we appreciate it very much. And I'm just going to be honest here. Why am I kissing Gene's ass? Well, brother, you've been good for business too. When the athletic department thrives, so do all of our sites. Thank you.